Hi Pisces, welcome to your July tarot reading. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome, welcome, and thank you. So Pisces, let's see what's going on for you. Now we're taking a look at all energies, so whatever needs to come out here, I will let you know. Now if something comes out here you want no part of, or does it resonate, not everything in here will resonate, so please only take what it does. All right, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female. Any heavy placements, general collective reading. Please only take what resonates for you, including the signs mentioned. You definitely can flip it, switch it. So I mean, if I'm reading something as something or someone else's energy, and you're like, oh no, that feels more like me, vice versa. And that's exactly what I need. So trust your intuition on that. Cross watchers as well could actually be some messages for you. All right, let's see, we have Fragment. Oh, feeling a little scattered, are we? And Belonging. So, <laughs> Pisces, I feel like you're, you could be in a transition right now where you're feeling a little scattered everywhere and you don't really feel like you fit in or belong in any one particular space. I mean, it could be work. Maybe you're feeling fragmented about your work and like, I really don't feel like I belong there. Maybe you're looking for a new home and you can't really find the right one. Um, but there's definitely a need uh, or a sense of feeling like confused or all over the place or scattered about finding a place to belong or finding where you belong. Uh, so we have 15, which is six, which is a healing balance energy. We have 41, which is five, which is about change. So I feel like change is coming that will make you feel more relaxed and more balanced. So where you're not feeling whole, where you're feeling scattered, you may actually find that place where you belong. So, you know, don't lose hope, especially if you're looking for a new home or a different job, or you're looking for that certain someone and you're like, you know, I just want someone I could share a home with, settle down with, whatever that resonates for you. All right. Let's see what else we have here for Pisces. Everything you need to know is down below. Your playlist are down there as well. You can still check out your June readings if you like to. And if you're new here, you check below for content times days. I'm doing eight a month to a week right now. May or may not be changing in the coming months with my full-time job, maybe kicking into overtime. Keep an eye out on the uh, community tab. That's where I post updates. Okay, that went flying. So let's see what we got here. Well, we got uh, progression. We got 22. Now two is about choices, decisions. It also can be about... Um, unity partnerships and unities so so things will be moving forward progression you'll start to see progression soon we have healing so we have uh, 16 which is seven which is a divinely guided spiritual energy so things are going to start progressing forward which will give you again i'm getting that very healing balanced uh harmonious kind of energy where you're feeling like all over the place you may be you know Maybe you're finding a hard time living. You have to stay with friends, family. You're kind of like all over the place. And definitely things are going to change here. That's kind of what I feel. All right. Some of you may have just gotten out of a relationship and you're feeling kind of broken. Um, not sure which direction to go in next. Uh, definitely all of a sudden things are going to start moving forward for you. And it's going to be very healing energy. You're finally going to find that sense of belonging in some way. I feel like illumination because we kind of have dark energy here with the light shining through the windows for illumination as well. All right, Pisces. So let's see what else we need to know. I do have another channel. Pisces is for, um, oh my goodness. All right, I want to take this one. It's for Twin Flames. Um, I was doing collectives in Zodiacs monthly, but kind of having time, not really having time to keep that schedule as I have, you know, two channels and a full-time job. So I'm going to just post collectives over there when I can. So it may not be that often, but if you are interested in Twin Flame Rings, you can check it out. Link is below. So we do have, look at this. We do have the Dove, which is about peace, harmony. Maybe if someone's extending out an olive branch, we do have air, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So it could be communication. We have crab, water, which you are water. Um, and the crab is you know, has their own protective shell around them. And they also have their kind of like their home is their shell. So definitely very protective energy. Uh, you could snap when you want to, but we have, let's see, we have 18, which is um, nine, 
so almost almost there you're almost at the new beginning and we have 26 which is eight about action and things moving forward and putting in the work so i definitely feel like here um i just want to read a little bit on the crap here so we have 28 let's see do 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 is that 28 yeah 28 so Oh yeah, I'm looking right at, oh my God. Peace and serenity, higher wisdom and love. Actually, no, I wanted to look at the crab, which is 28. Oh my goodness. Let's see. Okay, give me a minute here. Crab. Feeling vulnerable, seeking hidden value, caution and indirectness. Yeah, that's where that scattered energy comes from. But soon peace and harmony is coming in your energy and things are going to move forward. So let's see. <clears throat> I'm definitely feeling that fragmented, disoriented, disorientated, um, shattered feeling will be dissolving. Healing, peace, harmony, finding your sense of belonging in some way. All right. So let's see what we need to know here for Pisces. Let's see. So we have the Five of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, and the Five of Wands. Definitely, you know, you could have gotten out a very conflicting um, job or even a relationship or a commitment. Now feeling, you know, Five of Pentacles can feeling a little lost, abandoned, maybe suffering financially a little bit. But the Queen of Pentacles can be very grounded um, energy as well. Very, um, oh my God, I'm at a loss for words. Stable, grounded, kind of wealthy energy. So you may actually be getting um, help or assistance by someone who is very stable and grounded around you. Could be like a coworker, a friend, maybe even some assistance in some way, shape or form. So let's see, we have the Nine of Wands. Yeah, you've definitely been going through a big struggle here. With the Nine of Wands, King of Pentacles. So we have the King and Queen of Pentacles. Definitely could be the end of a cycle of a commitment or marriage or maybe a business partnership, <clears throat> however that resonates for you. Strength, so be strong, courageous, and brave. Things will be getting better as well. Leo energy, we have Leo, Virgo, Capricorn, Ten of Cups. You'll be happy once again. You know, happiness, you know, you're, you're going to find happiness again, whatever this is for you as well. May take some investing here with the Seven of Pentacles, putting in the work. Nine of Cups, so keep wishing, hoping, remaining positive. Now we have the Nine of Cups, wish, wish fulfillment. Ace of Pentacles, so you may be getting like a, a job proposal out of nowhere, because I do see the Fool behind that with Aquarius, which is about a leap of faith, trusting everything will be fine. Finding this new opportunity unexpected comes in for you. It could be like a job or something. Um, so if you left a job and you're like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? All of a sudden, out of the blue, you know, maybe you've been wishing and hoping for this. All of a sudden, sorry, there's a helicopter going by or something. All of a sudden, you know, here's your chance to leap on this new opportunity. So be confident and strong, even if it's something you've never done before. You know, be confident and strong. You know, you can invest, learn, and grow in the process. Nine of Swords. Yeah, it could be a very stressful situation. Three of Wands. You're definitely moving forward out of that. Better things are coming. I keep getting that. Ten of Swords. Definitely ending. Endings, very stressful, but better things are coming. The big shift is happening here with Aries energy. Shift and also a surprise, like a surprise, unexpected proposal, invitation for to join a business or a job or something coming in for you. I feel unexpected here. Hmm. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune here. Things getting better, moving in the right direction. Fate, destiny. So that's Leo. Uh, Sag, Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio. And you may, again, may not see it coming with the mind, uh, moon energy, which is Pisces. Trust your intuition. Keep manifesting. Because then you have the Ten of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles. Um, eight of Wands. So things moving forward quickly. Ten of Pentacles, total wealth, abundance, prosperity. So your finances are definitely going to pick up. This unexpected 
opportunity coming in for you. So where you were lost, fragmented, illusioned, all of a sudden, peace, harmony, and mess, you know, birds are messengers. And I kind of see he's holding the olive branch. Someone extending out something here, definitely here with the Queen of Pentacles, to offer you something which can help you get out of um, this lost kind of feeling. I definitely feel like you've ended a very struggling, you struggled a lot and you're ending, you know, it could be a tough cycle in a commitment, marriage, job, whatever. But unexpected things are coming in now which bring you the peace, harmony, and healing that you need. Things start to look brighter forward. And finally feeling a sense of purpose and belonging and things looking definitely better for you. So we have the Ace of Wands and the Five of Swords. Hmm. Ace of Wands is an exciting new beginning. Five of Swords can be about defeat. You may be feeling so defeated. You may not feel like you can jump into this new opportunity, especially if it's something you've never done before. You're not quite sure if you would have the fire driver passion to maybe give it a try. But it's saying give it a try because you have ultimate happiness here. So this may be something once you start, you know, putting energy in it like, wow, you know, I can really do this. It's actually something I enjoy. Um, we have Leo energy here. It's the best card you can have with the sun. Is that healing, happiness, joy, growth, expansion, best possible outcome? Some you know, could involve children here. So we have the um, Divine Masculine here with the Emperor. You could be dealing uh, with someone who maybe had a child with someone else unexpectedly that sabotaged the connection. You could have um, as well. Or you could be dealing with the father of your child and it's just a very kind of toxic situation as well. And this could also be a boss or someone who owns a business offering you uh, a lot of happiness here through offering a new um, venture. Magician making it happen, Gemini Virgo. So manifesting that new beginning, giving it a whirl, giving it a try, and rebuilding. Three Pentacles, definitely learning new things, crafts, skills, rebuilding. That is for sure. With three of Pentacles. Wow. So Six of Cups on the bottom of the deck. So some definitely here could have children. This could also be maybe you may reconnect with someone from your past. It could be an old colleague. Um, hide someone you went to school with, an old friend that gives you this opportunity as well. Some of you may be moving back home. Not a lot of people say, that's not what that means. But I get that a lot when I read the Six of Cups sometimes in a reading like this. It can be about following a childhood dream finally or maybe moving, visiting, relocating back home, starting something new back home. Doesn't have to be though. Four of Cups. Definitely contemplating this. Contemplating past energy. King of Wands. Leo energy. So I definitely feel like if you were connected to a fire sign, there's a lot of reflecting on that. But we do have the Ace of Cups behind that. So there's a chance also to find new love in the future. Two of Wands, but it's going to take you going down a new path, new avenue as well. And the Seven of Pentacles here. So taking your time, investing wisely. Eight of Cups, definitely going on a new journey. Going in search for the better. Ace of Swords, Divine Clarity from Source. Awakening, epiphany, aha moment, seeing things clearly, cutting away what's no longer serving, successful, new beginning. And communication's coming in, I feel, and a, you know, a sincere gesture, offer, a helping hand, I feel, Pisces energy, that's you. That leads to getting your, finally, a sense of belonging in the world with justice, Libra energy, truth, clarity, justice, balance, getting what you deserve, universal law and order. Finally, things balancing out for you, the Six of Pentacles, finally. Wow. Well, Pisces, that's kind of what I feel here. So let's see. Let's get you some advice and guidance. Advice and guidance for Pisces. Advice and guidance for Pisces. Advice and guidance for Pisces. All right, let's get you some advice and guidance. Begin to explore, yeah. So exploring every option that's available to you. Keep your commitments and then keeping that commitment and just let go and enjoy. Enjoy the process 
enjoy the adventure, enjoy the growth, the learning, and go with the flow. And don't stress, I mean, we did see the Nine of Swords here. Just go with the flow, take it easy, and you're finally getting back into your sense of belonging, peace, harmony, feeling whole again, and reevaluate your priorities. Hmm. So, you know, maybe someone didn't make you a priority in the past. I feel like whatever you may be doing here, you'll actually love what you're doing. Um, somebody may actually make you a priority by coming in, uh, lending you a helping hand, a sincere offer. And I mean that as in like, I don't want to say handout, but a job or, you know, they find a place to, for you to live or something like that. That kind of gets your you know, your your balance and your flow and your life kind of back in order, if this, this makes sense for you. Okay, Pisces, that's what I have for you. So I hope that helped resonate. Again, everything you need to know is down below. So again, you can check out your playlist, your June readings, and if you like to the Twin Flame channel, that is below as well. So wishing you the best, Pisces, and I shall see you next time.